Hi. Um, knowing what you know now, is there anything that you would have done differently over the last eight weeks? Don't touch my hair. Oh, yes, ma'am. Now, uh, no, I made a comment about it was hot as a scroll in a wool sock. I probably would take that one back. <laughs> Did you say that? I did say that. Well, I think we had forgotten, but now we've been reminded. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, well, Cowboy Troy is uh, out there in the audience with one of your biggest fans. Who do you have for us, Troy? Hello, why I'm here somewhere in an undisclosed secret location within the Acuff Theater in Nashville, Tennessee. Don't tell anyone. Well, I guess the cat's out of the bag. I'm standing here with Chris's mother. How do you feel about that young man up there? I'm really proud of him. He's a good boy, and he's, <laughs> he's really worked hard to get where he's at, so I'm pretty proud of him. How do you feel about having him on TV every week, watching him all the time? Well, he has no idea some of the email he's gotten, but he's been propositioned everything from marriage to everything. <laughs> well, out here, it's a family show, but that doesn't mean necessarily going out and start your own family. Back to you, I. <laughs> he's a good boy. I can't believe your mom actually went on camera. Uh, you told me she's shy. You know, I'm really surprised they got her on camera, but I think it's great because I, I, I love them. And... I think she's really proud of you. I really do. Okay, Chris, are you ready to give your last performance of the season? Without a doubt. Yes, ma'am, I am. Without a doubt. Go. Here. All right. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Nashville Star has been one of the happiest and most stressful periods of my life, but uh, I, I wouldn't trade it for anything. Chris Young! Probably one of the most exciting things, just as far as total shock and surprise, was when we first got to see the bus. We walked out in the parking lot and there was this bus with our pictures on the side of it. Getting to work with the band for the first time, those guys are amazing. Getting to talk with Kenny Rogers backstage, that was a real high point, that was cool. On original song night, um, you know, I was a little nervous going into it because obviously being a songwriter, uh, you know, your song's your baby. Drinking me lonely tonight. That was one of the, the pinnacles of the show for me. The judges had finally, like, decided they knew I knew where I was at as an artist because they stopped comparing me to people. Nashville Star has just revealed a true artist. <laughs> I feel like throughout this competition, I got the chance to show as an artist what I think I truly am. And I couldn't have dreamed or prayed or hoped for anything better. This was for you guys. They think that I'm talking foolish. You've heard that I'm wild.
awesome. Brandy's one of my favorites. So this is it. This is our last moment um, together. And I just, I see myself in you, and you and I haven't had a whole lot of time to talk, but I want to tell you, I want you to really enjoy these next years, because you're really intense, and I am too. And sometimes I think we get so nervous, we forget to really embrace the moment and enjoy it. You've been working so hard, and you've been really, really passionate about this. But don't forget to enjoy it, okay? Okay? This was so serious. Chris Young, everybody, but you've done awesome. All right, Casey, get over here. Are you as nervous as I am? You know what? I came into this thing not really that nervous because I knew the votes were in and uh, I was going to be happy either way, but standing up here with this talented man right here, I'm a little bit scared, so. Well, there are some pretty nervous people out there with Cowboy Troy right now. Who do you have for us, Troy? Well, why, I've got Casey's mother and his <laughs> father and everybody else in his family. <laughs> I see you up here looking at your baby boy. What are you thinking right now the last eight weeks? Well, I'm so excited because when he turned 11 years old, he said, Mama, I'm going to be a country music singer when I grow up. So you start saving your money now for my concert. And him and his brother would be the girls and scream as they would sing. And, and they'd, they'd also be the audience, too. So I've got some blackmail tapes. They're great. Casey <laughs> said, wrap That's it up, good. Mom. Look out, y'all. That's scary. Back to you, Y. <laughs> Thank God for our mothers, you know. Thanks, Troy. Are you ready to sing one more time? I'm ready. Let's do it. Casey Rivers, everybody. <laughs> this whole experience has been just a whole, uh, whole big ball of emotions. It's been so fun. Uh, the uh, first show uh, started out, kicked the show off. I was the first person to go out, and, and I went from going first to uh, hanging there at the very last with me and Kristen, which uh, both can be very nerve-wracking, something that I can take with me forever is the fact that I had a chance to meet with Winona one-on-one. -on -one. I think your performances have been great. I think it's time now to really show America what you're made of. This has been a dream of mine ever since I was a little bitty kid. I can remember third grade, I thought to myself, I'm going to be a country singer one day. I was glad just to make top ten. My next goal was to make the top four, try to tour, and now, yeah, I I'd love to win. Don't rock the juice song. Oh, 
Nicole. Ah, they're telling me in the truck that I'm talking too slow. I guess it's because I'm scattered. I'm real nervous, but I'm supposed to give you some advice. And I just want you to keep your joyful spirit. That's what I really love about you. And, and you know, life goes by so fast. Let's face it. We're, we're uh, well, life is short, you know, but it's wide. And so enjoy yourself and continue to just keep that wonderful spirit. And don't, don't stop singing the gospel stuff, okay? That's my advice to you. Wow, Peace and rivers, everybody. So here's the deal, America. It's pretty simple.